Hey, and how are you doing? And I hope you're well. You're certainly looking good. Well, just wanted to do a very small update on the Jay Slater case. So, or is it a case now? Or it could be a case. Some people were talking about private investigators still being involved as such as, much to my knowledge, there aren't any private investigators that are involved. And if um, people need to be involved, it would be Interpol, um, the British police, and such off something of within those lines. We see the ominous GoFundMe go up now as we speak to around about 70,000 and counting. It's absolutely crazy and it could be seen as empathy fraud. I'm kind of in a way not blaming the, the family or should I be blaming the family? It's very tempting and if I was in the same position um, and I needed the money, would I um, take the money? If the money kept rolling in, probably but that doesn't make it morally right and we've heard the costings are all wrong on the particular sheet that was released and we see that um, the, the repatriation is priced way above what it actually is depending on how decomposed the body is um, it's still not I think it was quoted 20 30 grand or something just for bringing a body no funeral five grand um five grand is no more than that not the 12 grand quoted 15 grand travel insurance i don't know would, would lead to believe it won't cover um that uh it, it covers accidental damage if you fall over and break your leg or fall off a cliff and you die your travel insurance even the basic cover travel insurance will cover that um, repatriation I think there's an extra premium that you pay for repatriation but I'm sure on all my travel insurance policies and I paid yearly written into it was repatriation because that was something that uh, could happen and quite easily could quite easily happen especially if you're you've not passed away perhaps and you need uh, medical care and you want to be brought back to the country if not there are private companies that do this. So private companies will try to do it as cheap as possible. And for as little as about five or 6,000. Now, you could become uh, a private company and perhaps you would find a cheap way of doing it. So if it wasn't via a return flight, flying over, cargo back medically, a body, um, you could travel by land if that would be any cheaper so you could uh, travel by car by ferry blah 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 in um, have all the right insurances have a particular vehicle that is designed I know you'll get different companies that visit care homes places like care homes and hospitals and they have a van not a labeled up van a blank van uh, two gentlemen will arrive in suits looking respectful etc they have a body bag with them and they collect the body, put it in the back of the van and take it to, to where it needs to go. Yeah, you may have to involve um, higher companies of hiring a, a boat if you were doing it via mainland from the tip of Africa over to the Canaries. But I would have thought the cheaper way would be by a medical aircraft. So, yeah, it's the search was never charged. It was paid for via, is there a fund for that? Or do the taxpayers pay for that? And the Spanish, so, so cagey. We've already spoken about corruption by the Spanish authorities and uh, that it does go on. Although I'm not pinpointing anybody or uh, get myself into any wrangles of legalities or legal cases, it's, it's crazy what's going on. Um, the Holland team, talk about this Holland team, they're not a big, huge organisation, and I believe it was one man, one woman, might even be three, and a dog. If there were ropes and mountaineering equipment involved, they weren't as specialised as such mountain team. Anyway, they, were, they weren't employed as such, and they work as a charity, and they work with sponsors, so they get sponsored. And that pays for the actual rescue 
so there's no charge as such apart from expenses which isn't an awful lot of money for two people and a dog to come over so I don't know what else there is I believe Lucy Lucy May Law you're kind of involved in this because you set the GoFundMe up and you also set apparently now you can answer this if you want to you can come alive if you want if I set them alive you can come on alive and answer these questions so you were apparently involved in an Irish person was it last year and set up a GoFundMe for a particular Irish person that went missing apparently he was beaten up and bundled in the back of a car but I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to step down and give out information that isn't so but I am looking into that and I'll look into that further before I fully report on that one I don't think you realize when you get into all this ins and outs of um, corruption etc and this Jay Slater case has gone worldwide you don't realize there are certain corners it goes into social media and they look into things more thoroughly than an investigation would and it certainly costs less and some of it may be made up the vlogs and reports do actually delve in quite deeply now there is a, a corner called the dark corner which also will look into this as well and people involved in that dark corner aren't terribly they're a mixture of people but they certainly won't react in getting threatened whether that is um, th threatened in a an illegal manner or threatened in a legal court case type of manner because the, a lot of them are, are still active masons um, within this country they do hold uh, a lot of clout in the judicial system and their high-ranking officers probably a bit like the Spanish um, I don't want to emphasize uh, so much on the Spanish side because uh, lots of other countries are corrupt and they have the same sort of body of people same government of people governance of people and dictatorships etc but uh, obviously the UK has the same and we also have the uh, small-time criminals that are within the corner as well and they will dissect it and they're not uh, too bothered about a bit of uh, well they actually probably would welcome the violence and the threats etc that are um, floating around on social media but um, there are a lot of good people on uh, within the corner and also the true crime the separate true crime corner which has a lot of um, ex-policemen ex-investigators etc who have done this sort of thing for years for a living and also the experts so we have uh, body language experts we have uh, how would you say uh, calligraphy experts on handwriting or um, the manners of certain people they can be picked up by these experts within this true crime corner on social media so um, they can also look into these sort of things it was spoke of to get a, an autopsy in the UK together a separate autopsy another autopsy I presume the correct autopsy was carried out in Spain but being corrupt um, forgive us not for trusting you but Spanish police and this is directed at you and authorities things can be doctored paperwork can be changed remembering the drugs trade as such brings in tourists a lot of tourists and I was told figure wise it can be up to 70% of your business involves drug takers so I'm not saying it's uh, particularly deadly and it kills everybody or something like that but obviously it's drug trading drug dealing drug trafficking that goes on and Apparently that's not supposed to be very nice, is it? So, yeah, if they did have a UK autopsy, I mean, would it be, would there be any DNA left on the body? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a professional. 
would the internal organs already have been tampered with and removed and looked at and the body prompt about would they be able to find anything different in short would the body be um, palatable enough as such to be able to, to to look into to see whether there were any more that suggested anything suspicious i'm not saying there was well <laughs> we kind of already know it's suspicious i didn't want to delve too much into that because there's enough out there on the internet and it is upsetting lots of people and we just want it all put to rest really don't we and i don't know if there is anything untoward i suppose people want justice anyway thank you for listening and um Thank you for the updates that I'm getting through from different people, different authorities myself. I don't know these people. And I did think uh, the emails I got through were uh, my sources, but these other sources, they seem quite um, they seem quite in the know whether the, the email addresses are, are correct. But what's coming through is from different governing bodies and agencies and things like that. I don't know, but thank you for that. And uh, thank you for listening. Take care.